All right, y'all, so I just have this uh, pre-made sugar cookie dough in these little, little balls. I, I really like using this, and all I do here for this recipe, I just open it up, and I'm just gonna put it like that on the bottom of my baking dish, and then you just peel this off, all right? So these sugar cookies will rise a little bit while they're cooking, so I do like to separate them a little bit, like so. Oops, okay. And actually, I think, I think this one package is gonna be just good. I have another one open here just in case, but I'm thinking that this is good. Because on the directions, it says they need to be two inches apart if you're just making the cookies, but we're just using them as the bottom layer for a delicious dessert that you are going to love. I'm telling you, it's a crowd favorite here at my house. Country Cindy loves this recipe. All right, so once you have your little, your little dough balls, nice and separated. We're gonna take a can of strawberry pie filling, all right? This is gonna be so good. So we're just gonna dump this right on top of our sugar cookie balls. All right, and you wanna make sure you get all that goodness out of the can, all that gel stuff, it's real good. It's real good, we'll get that all out. All right, once you got all that, we just wanna spread this out nicely. It's perfect right on top of those cookie balls. Oh, this is so good, I'm so excited. This looks so pretty already. All right, so now what we gonna do, we have a few more layers here, and it's gonna be just delicious. So I have here some graham cracker crumbs. We're just gonna do a little sprinkle, sprinkle right on top of these strawberries, all right? Just a little layer. Oh, this looks so good already. Y'all know what I'm making here? You have any idea where I'm going with this? Oh, that looks so good. All right, after those graham cracker crumbs, our next layer here, we have one stick of cream cheese, eight ounces. I put it in the microwave so it got a little soft. And I'm gonna take a quarter cup of powdered sugar. All right, we're just gonna mix this right up. And you know what? If it's a little bit thick, you can add a little bit of whole milk. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here, but that was probably like one or two tablespoons. There we go. I'm just gonna mix this up. So it's nice and incorporated. Oh, perfect, look at that. All right, we wanna get all these chunks out. And you know what, if it's a little bit liquidy, that's all right for this dessert. I'm gonna pour a little bit more milk, there we go. So yeah, I'd say about eight ounces of cream cheese, a quarter cup of powdered sugar, and then about two tablespoons of milk. Now the milk is optional, because you could just glob it on, but if you want it to kind of pour a little bit nicer, I like adding the milk. And you just give it a nice little mix here. Even if it's a little bit chunky, that's totally fine. Now we're gonna take our beautiful cream cheese powdered sugar mixture, and we're just gonna nicely spread this around. I'm gonna move my pan over a little bit. All right. So we're just gonna put these globs all around our dessert. Um, this will, it's gonna spread out while it's baking, so it don't, don't have to be perfect. It's all going in the same place, and it's gonna taste real good. We're gonna make that one a little bit bigger. I'm gonna get all this goodness out. All right. And you know what, when in doubt, I just lay it right in the middle because it's gonna spread out from there anyways. I'm gonna get it all. All right, perfect. And then you know what, you could spread it out a little bit. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I am so excited. You know what, this is one of my favorite desserts. You know what, y'all? All my desserts I make are my favorite. I just love cooking, and I love showing y'all my favorite recipes. All right, last step here. We're gonna take a little bit more of these graham cracker crumbs, and we're just gonna do another layer right on top, all right? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. So again, we have our sugar cookie dough. We got our canned strawberry pie filling, graham cracker crumbs, and then our cream cheese mixed with our powdered sugar. So all we're gonna do here, we're gonna bake this at the directions um, on the sugar cookie box, because that's all that needs to cook. So we do it in about 17 minutes at 350, and I'm so excited to show you one of my favorite desserts. All right, y'all, this is looking so good. Remember, we took our sugar cookies and we put those on the bottom. We put uh, strawberry pie filling, our cream cheese mixture, and graham cracker crumbs. This looks so good. I am real, really, really excited to try this. Oh my goodness. Woo. This, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just so excited. I don't know why I put my knife down. See, I can't even think straight because I am so excited for this dessert because I just have a feeling this is going to be like one of the best things ever. All right. Now we're just going to scoop some of this out right here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, it's going to fall. I got to put it right on my plate. 
Well, it looks it, it looks prettier in this pan, but this is this is looking real good. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it better. But we have all of our layers. We have our cream cheese layer. We have our sugar cookie on the bottom. This smells so good. I wish I could send a smell through this phone because I think you would love it. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of all of this. Cream cheese, the sugar cookie. I am so excited.